Hello, it's Yvonne here and I'm going to do a very short little video today. I went to the Goodwill and Bins today with my neighbor, you know, we hit it up. So we went to the Goodwill and Bins, I'm going to show you what I got and I'm going to show you what I got at a church sale as well, just because I'm going to throw that in. Um, yeah, only found two items, not too shabby. And if you don't follow me already on my Instagram, please do. It is at Orihita Girl or E G I T A G R L. That is where I sell the majority of my stuff. Um, purses, handbags, accessories, sometimes shoes. It's a fun and good pair. And so follow me on there if you don't already. Also on Instagram, it's the same username. And uh, let's jump into the haul. I will start off with the bin. The bin I got something for a quarter the first trip. I went twice. Uh, first trip was a quarter and then it was uh, three pounds for a dollar forty nine four forty seven There it is mm -hmm. And the next trip it was a quarter and I got shoes for a dollar forty nine so. Now let's get started with the stuff I grabbed this little box of uh, double-sided tape from the bin too because it was new so I figured why not I can use it for something, packages, you know, stuff like that when I send out on Poshmark. Uh, these are the other little items that I picked up. Um, this was something that I found. Just little patches. I can use those for a purse or for something, so I can leave those behind. I grabbed them. Uh, I also grabbed this little Burger Boy sticker from the bottom of the bin. I just thought it was cute. I'm going to put it on something. Also grab this. This is a crystal clear screen protector. I'm going to use this for my Fitbit. It was new, so I figured why not. Um, then I grabbed this. My neighbor grabbed this, and she grabbed it all together and said, I found it, and it was like a little box of little stuff, and she said she was going to get these little things, but she wasn't sure what they were, and then she saw them that they were pin refills. And she was like, oh, they're pin refills, but I don't have pins. She said, do you want them? I said, yeah, because I always find pins at the bin, and I need pin refills. So, they come in a plethora of colors. Look at that. They were on you, too. So, and she got me this little cute little post-it notepad, which I think is cute. So, I couldn't leave that. I had to grab everything. So, I grabbed all that. Then, I grabbed this little um, keychain. This little keychain she grabbed me as well. It's just cute. Just needs a little, um, what, a keychain? That's it. So, it was just really cute. She grabbed me that. I picked this up, and this is just some Gucci-looking ribbon. And I like it. I think it's cute to, like, wrap, I don't know, maybe a very gaudy, you know, um, tacky, but maybe to wrap my handles for my Gucci. My vintage one, anyway, not the other one that I have. Not that one, because that blue one would probably look funny. <laughs> but, hey. Alright, and then, of course, I picked these up. These are little Paul Frank plates. Um, and they're just so cute. So, I grabbed them. We only get eight, though, but, you know, for the price I paid, it's not a lot. Grab that. My neighbor found this, and this is just, it says, um, first class fashionista. It's a little, uh, luggage tag. It's just super cute, so she grabbed me that. I grabbed this. This was some Sunrise Citrus, a very luxury, fruity, mind, body, and soul, invigorating body scrub, all that. Yeah, all that. And this was new, so I grabbed that. They had the lotion in that, but I really was just interested in the body scrub. Um, then my neighbor grabbed me this little... Travis lid along with another one but I grabbed this one because it's orange and I have one for my UTSA Travis uh yeah UTSA Roadrunners go winners and so I I thought this orange one would be perfect for my cup so I picked that up as well um then I found this little ribbon and this is cute I thought maybe when I sent a posh package or something it just is hard because it has me the poo are you going to put in my planner, like decorate the planner? I don't know. Something. I mean, it really weighs nothing. I'll figure a use for it. My neighbor found me this, and this is by Liberty et Amour Apothecary, and this is just 
a blooming rose with argan hand cream and I love anything that smells like roses so when she saw it she just said do you want it I was like yes and I didn't even see it smell like roses until I opened it up and it was new so and it does it smells like roses so I was like yay for me because I really like that this is something that I picked up myself I was gonna get the purse the Dooney purse that went with this but I didn't because the Dooney purse was worse for wear so what do you do when you find a purse that's worse for wear you always gotta think what parts of the purse can I reuse so I grabbed the strap because I could reuse the strap for another purse I already have one there but this one is different you know and this is really nice well-made leather this is a vintage Dooney that I found like I said, it was worse for wear, so I had to leave it, but this was beautiful. This is vintage Dooney. It was pre-tag, and of course, I'm pretty sure they dumped it back because they probably thought it was pre-tag as well. Um, but it, you know, they, they didn't know. They probably thought, like I said, it wasn't real because it was pre-tag is what I meant to say. Um, but this is a tag for Dooney and Burke when you find it, and it doesn't have a tag inside. It'll have this on the outside if it does then it is real grab it this is just a vintage hang tag for dooney uh there was a year when dooney decided all of a sudden to start putting the little tag inside that doesn't mean the usa but before that they didn't have that they were just plain had no tag so yeah so i grabbed that as well um i only grabbed this little thing because i thought it was cute uh it's a vintage sound real little tomb with little bears Oh, I love it. I love the little bears. It's supposed to have something here so that you can put a lock, but unfortunately that piece is gone. So I just had to pick it up. It's just super cute. So I grabbed that as well. I'm going to put that down here. I don't want it to like dent on me. Then I found these little cards here in this little bag. Um, and these are not for me. My mom already got one. She just wanted one. In particular and the one that she got was one of these from the Pope uh, so they're just little prayer cards and they have a little prayer here from the Pope uh, and there's different ones I'm not gonna go through all of them but there's different ones and they all have prayers on the back um, these are gonna go to a dear friend of mine you know who you are I want to send these to you they should probably already be there by the time you see this video but those are for you then I grabbed this cute little Kipling bag. This is going to be on my Poshmark, so keep an eye out for it. It's really cute. It has two zippers here. And it does have a little pocket in there, a little zip pocket as well. It has a little key keeper. Um, so, yeah. It's really really cute and this is gonna be on my posh it doesn't have the monkey I know sorry no monkey but that's gonna be on my posh next little item was this really cute little Kate Spade sandbag this is a little mini Kate Spade sandbag it's a really cute color it's in great condition I don't know why they didn't take it um, they might have looked for authentication and might have not seen it but it is in there it does have it in there you have to just fish for it um it does have the little tag in there which um i don't even know if i want to fish it out but i did see it and here it is because i know somebody's gonna be like yep it didn't have a tag so it did it had the little made in usa tag there so i looked for that i saw it and i was like and you know believe it or not they do make fake uh, made in usa tags as well so you have to be careful with that as well but that was cute and I'm gonna use that for myself because I was going to lunch and I have to dress nice so works uh, this is the next item that I picked up for myself there and it was this really cute little shirt I love shirts like this for fiesta but this is a little bit um, kind of a little bit of a hot material for fiesta but I still love it I think it's beautiful um, even when I go, you know, because I go to my, a luncheon during Fiesta and I think this would be perfect to wear for that luncheon, maybe with a nice little skirt. It does have really cute little sleeves also embroidered on the sleeves here. It does have 
the collar really nicely here. So that's perfect. Next little item was this. Mm, it's really cute little tote bag. It's like kind of like a lime yellowy green color. It's really, really, really cute. I saw it and this was actually on a go back bin, which means that somebody got it and then they just dumped it back because they were like, oh no, we're not going to get that. But I was like, you want to go shopping. I mean, this is perfect. It's a nice leather tote bag to like bring stuff in. You know, like maybe you want to take it and use it for grocery. Maybe that you might have like heavy grocery. You know, this is a perfect bag for that. And this is by Village Tannery of New York. It has a zipper compartment in here. It has a real compartment here for a phone, which unfortunately doesn't fit mine, but it's by Village Tannery of New York. Um, if you don't see it on my posh, then that means I kept it because I'm, I really like the color and I love, I, I just love a leather tote bag like this. It's just very simple, very classic and very beautiful. And I did read up on them. I didn't get to see the prices on them because there are no prices on their website. But the one thing that I did read in a review was that this bag will last you a lifetime. And that was enough for me to be like, yes, because this leather is nice and soft and buttery. And just very sturdy like the coach one back in the day I don't know about now but the the coach one back in the day was really nice and buttery like that so I grabbed that uh, the next item that I grabbed was again for me and I was so excited when I saw these I was like they were in a bin in the very back and I just grabbed them and I was like and it was this really cute little pair of toy perch Riva flat yes oh my gosh i was excited to find these they were rubber banded together which means somebody grabbed them and then they thought oh no they're not going to resell so they dumped them back and i was like damn i grabbed them i was like please fit me please fit me please fit me i was like because i have been dying for a pair of river flats and they fit me so i was very excited for this little pickup i might have them resold um just because i want them to last longer you know, I plan to keep these in my collection for a little bit longer while. So, I might do that with them. I don't think it'll cost me a lot to do that. So, but they're really, really cute. So, yeah. How nice is that? Oh, I love these. So, I grabbed those. And then, at the church sale, this is what I picked up. Another pair of shoes, yes. And I couldn't leave these. These were just so cute. And when I saw them, I was like... If only they would fit me, but no, my foot's big. So it's this really cute pair of Carl Lagerfeld shoes. They are the um, Cabana Loafers. Those are so cute. Like, they literally have hardly anywhere. I think somebody wore them out one night or maybe for work and then figured out that they just, they just didn't work for them. And these are a size 6 medium. They just need to be cleaned up on the inside really that's pretty much all but the heel is great on these here's the other one as you can see the heel is just good on these like they are just perfect it's just really the wear is only shows a little bit here because they wore them they still have the return sticker on them they have the car Lagerfeld Paris on there they're leather beautiful soft buttery leather and look at that they're super nice. I just I just fell in love with these when I saw them. So, again, I had to grab those. So, those are going to be in my posh. I got those at the church sale. Um, these are a beautiful little dress I picked up. And this is by Worthington. And I just saw it and I was just like, this is so cute. To wear for a luncheon or something. Like, I always have to dress up. I have to wear nice dresses. And this is perfect for next year for a luncheon. Or even for fall. I mean, I'm not opposed to wearing fall on fall. So, I think that's going to be gorgeous. And that's the video. That's it. That's the video. Uh, I just wanted to go on there and show you what I found. And, oh, I'll just do a little cup of the day. It's my cup of the day. <laughs> it's my Las Palapas cup. Um, if, you don't go to the, if you do go to the bin here in San Antonio, Las Palapas is right there by the bin. It's close by. Look it up on your GPS. And they give these cups. They have them there for, I want to say, $5, $4. Every Monday, if you go on Monday, though, they give you the free refill. There are days where they will have a free refill of a drink on them as well. 
and they have Roback specials. So today we had bean and cheese tacos because that was the Roback special of the day and they were only like 69 cents. Can't beat that, right? So check them out if you don't already. And that's the video. Make sure to follow me on my Poshmark, like I said, Orihita Girl or E D I T A T R L. Also on my Poshmark because uh, I will be posting some of those goodies that I found. So follow me on there and I have other goodies that I'm going to post. I have um, other purses that I am, was thinking of keeping that I had hauled in videos prior. I'm not going to go into which ones. Just, you know, follow me if you want to because they're going to be cheap and I'm going to sell them. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to comment. Uh, if you have any comments, like, subscribe. Bye.